If I died tomorrow, who would actually care? My father probably would, my children might. My name's John, um, I served for 22 years. I joined in 1983 and I left in 2005. I served in 23 different countries uh, in that time, but the big ones were for the first Gulf War, um, Northern Ireland, Cyprus, Bosnia, Kosovo, Canada, um, and an awful lot of other countries in between. While I was serving, it wasn't a low point. There was no low point because we were doing what we joined to do. And it was great because you were in a group of individuals that were like-minded so that when you did go somewhere horrible, you were decompressing within, within the people that witnessed the same things that you witnessed. It's when you leave, you've got nobody to talk to and you cannot possibly expect um, the, the civilian population to even comprehend what's going on in your head. So you had, it's, it's a, the, when I left, it was an, a, a crushing feeling of loneliness. Never felt so lonely in my life. I knew that I was getting uh, sicker and sicker I just didn't know why and in the end I just fell off a cliff face and I knew I was in crisis and I only had two thoughts left in my, in my head that made any sense to me and I'd, I'd um, put some money in the uh, bucket for these guys when they were fundraising where I was living at the time and all I had was their little sticker and I either googled them or I drove my car off a beachy head, that's all I had left. Um, okay, I'll Google them and see what they've got to say for themselves. And then it, it just, that was, it, that was the life-saving phone call. That was two years ago. Walking through the threshold of this place was the most difficult step I've ever made in my life. Um, because you don't admit that there's anything wrong. Um, and then when you do come here, um, it's then that the, the pressures that, you, that are inside you, and you don't know why you've got the pressures, they start to relieve those pressures. Uh, they brought me back from the precipice. They, they, they stopped me from doing, from ending it and they've put me on a pathway. Uh, it's not going to be recovery, I know that. I've already been told by all the psychologists that it's just going to be management. But they've, they've put me on a pathway where I can uh, contribute something because you feel like you've got nothing to offer. Financially, legally, they, put, they found me a house. They found me the contents. Um, and it, I needed a safe bolt hole to go to and I didn't have that. Um, so they housed me, gave me what I needed, um, fed me um, and steered me on the path and put me in, um, in touch with the organisations that can help. If you'd like to help veterans like myself, please play the Veterans Lottery.